Hey guys, it's Courtney. What's up? I realize I kind of blend into the background. I really wanted to wear this shirt. I just got it like from Forever 21 and today's the first day I put it on and I realized it has a hole in the neck. It's like right along the seam and now I'm like nearly shirtless Courtney because shout out to Harry Potter. Today I wanted to try a different style video and share with you guys 25 really cool DIY back to school school supplies and organization and my friend Savannah from Savannah and stuff does these types of videos so I'm gonna link her channel down below if you want to see more. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you do. It's kind of compiling like a list of the best of the best Pinterest DIY so you don't have to go searching for yourself and I'm gonna link all the actual DIYs down below and I did do my own DIY back to school supplies as well so I'm gonna link that down below all the info is gonna be in the description box so make sure to check that out one last thing I promise I'm having a giveaway right now for a $250 Visa gift card where all you have to do to enter is subscribe and if you want an extra entry you can head on over to my new channel called the it list which is kind of doing videos like this if you enjoy it um, I'll link it down below and if you subscribe to that you get an extra entry and it's running till the end of this month so it's ending soon so make sure to get on that and anyways, let's get into these DIYs. Number one is actually a cool idea I thought about doing a video on, and it's these little emoji DIY locker magnets, which I suppose you could use anywhere, not just on your locker, but I just thought they were really cute. I think we've all struggled with tangled headphone cords. Heck, I still have like tangled headphones in my purse. But if you wanna solve that, all you have to do is take an old mint container, and then you could decorate it either with washi tape and fabric, and then you could wrap it around in there. On the other hand, if you're like, ew, trash, I don't want to recycle a mint container, you could use a clothespin and also decorate that and use it to wrap your cord around and then you could like attach it to like a folder or your book bag or something else. Personally, this is my favorite. Or there's always this DIY donut earbud holder because who doesn't like donuts? Actually me, I don't really care for donuts, but I can appreciate a cute donut earbud holder, I suppose. It looked cute, okay? Speaking of upcycling your garbage, you can make a really cute pencil case holder out of old soda boxes. And I'm actually not a huge soda drinker, but I have been obsessed with like the Sierra Mist with cranberry mixed into it. So good. Okay, so here's the thing with this next one. I always loved clipboards when I was younger and I always wanted to have one, but I never really used it. But if you do, this is a really cute, like gold leaf inspired, like pastel colored clipboard. Now, of course we have to throw in some cute notebooks because Pinterest has an abundance of really, really cute notebooks. So I've been obsessed with black and white lately and I really like the design and like combination of these. So I thought that'd be fun to include. Plus they look super easy to do. Now these look a little more time consuming, but these notebooks were so cute and you make your own like little eyelets in them, which you, then you could put it in like your binder or something. And I was just like, so cute. I didn't even know you could do that yourself. So. This one looks really simple because I know they have like contact paper everywhere. I knew you could at least get it on Amazon, probably at Walmart, but marble contact paper has been so popular. You can put it on just about everything, your walls, your table, your notebooks. So I already thought that one was super cute and then I found an even cuter marble notebook. Take a look at this one. It has like gold arrows, marble, so cute. If I were to make one, this would be them. You could probably find stickers for the arrows too. You guys could probably tell I never really got into like the DIY EOS trend. I mean, yes, I like their lip balms. I don't really see the obsession with all the DIYs though, but if you do enjoy them, here is a USB EOS bomb and I mean it's kind of cool. This one's a little bit more my style and if I could ever use up a whole lipstick tube I would make it and it's the Chanel USB flash drive. Again people would take so much effort into these DIYs and they're so genius so I really love this one. If any of you guys make this like send me a picture. I bet you guys thought we were over the notebook DIYs but we're not. I found another cute one with like palm trees which will make you think of summer but you could add your own little personalized pocket on the front, which I think is really cool and different from some of these other notebook DIYs. Remember earlier when I asked you guys like, what would you use a clipboard for? I actually found something. There is this really cute clipboard to-do list. You can make it into a calendar, but something that you could put on your desk that I think would look really, really cute or hang above your wall at your desk. I finally have a use for a clipboard in my life. So bonus point. Next we have this really cute Galaxy print backpack and it actually looks really, really simple to do. I love Galaxy inspired DIYs and stuff. On the topic of book bags, apparently Pinterest does not like the word book bag and that's what I've always called it. But when I typed that in, like nothing cute really came up. 
but you type in backpack and that's when you find some cool ideas. So I found this DIY watercolor inspired backpack, which again is really cute. And completely side note, if you don't want to do like a DIY backpack, Walmart has had some really cute book bags book bags, backpacks, I keep like interchanging them, but Walmart has some really cute backpacks and they're like $9. And I'm kind of wondering where this was when I was in school because they are super cute, like tribal print, bold colors, fun stuff, like cute looking book bags for like under $10. By the way, let me know in the comments if you call it a book bag or a backpack. I feel like I use both, but I probably use book bag more often. This next DIY, you're probably not gonna be carrying to school, but I think it's really cute for your desk or if you're in a dorm and it's like this really cute DIY mason jar tissue holder. Shout out if you have a tissue holder but never fill it up with tissues. I'm just gonna leave this next one right here because ice cream, which I could really go for right now. Another cute accessory you could add to your book bag or your pocket or whatever is this little DIY chapstick holder because you don't want to leave it in your pocket and then wash your clothes and then stain your clothes with cherry chapstick. Yeah. Never forget your homework again with this dry erase weekly to do calendar. Okay, you'll probably still forget your homework, but maybe this will help a little bit. And in case that one didn't motivate you enough to do your homework, how about this clothespin to do list? Cute, huh? Do you still not want to do your homework? I didn't think so. Next we have this magnetic cereal box paper bin because washi tape will forever transform all your garbage. So I'm starting to think that Pinterest has a thing for garbage and recycling it and reusing it, which I'm all for, but this one's a little extreme, kind of cool, kind of extreme, and it's these pencil bottle holders. And they even have a zipper. I don't leave this whole collection of stuff right here because Harry Potter, I had to and they're so cute and I want them all. And last but not least, I'm gonna leave this last cute locker right here just for inspiration because my locker never looks cute. I never decorated it and maybe you guys could get some ideas from it. All right guys, those were 25 DIYs for back to school. I really hope you enjoyed them. Let me know what you think about this layout. If you like it, if you don't, give it a thumbs up. If you do wanna see more like this, of course, I'll still do my regular DIYs too, which I will link down below, by the way. And if you missed my last videos, they are on both sides of me. Click them to check them out or click the eye up in the corner. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.